So, I have three options here. Option 1. Fake it, and say wow, awesome. Option 2. Be neutral, show what's new, and say nothing. Option 3. Be genuine, and just say what I really think. Actually I have one more option, not even upload a video, but we are way past that point. So let's go with option 3, and whatever will be, will be. I will start with one of the most annoying animations ever in desktop history, and that honor belongs to 9 dots. Even if this animation was perfectly smooth, it would still feel violent, because it executes lots of things and distances in very short time. And you can notice this problem specially on Restore, because the I'm memorizing that imagery easier. To be fair, this animation is a noticeable annoying, because in GNOME we usually use search directly from Windows Overview to launch an application. But can you imagine if we had a casual app launcher, and we were seeing that every single time? According to GNOME Design, there is some lore behind it. It shows the applications belong to the 9 dots placeholder, and they come out of it. But when we launch an application from the dock, the lore is gone, and the application just appears from nowhere. If we open an issue on GitLab and request to add some similar animation, I'm pretty sure GNOME designers will close it as distracting. Because? This is a very usual action, that we are going to see all the time. You got it? At this point, I want to declare that I'm a huge fan of animations, fancy things, moving stuff around and graphics noise in general. I'm anything but motion phobic. The following animation is a master, and it is pretty much a standard animation. But every time I see it it only feels cool the first few times. After a while it becomes boring and kinda annoying even for me. To make it super clear, I'm not saying it is awful, but we are in 2020, and this is not really 2020 graphics. You expect something if not better, at least more creative, more interesting. I mean it is just an animation, why we should always copy someone else? Anyway, to the demo! So, now when we have an icon repositioning, all the rest icons are moving individually. Most specifically each icon takes 250 milliseconds to transition, and starts moving 25 milliseconds after the previous one. It will be more clear and more annoying when Shell allows us to set custom icons positions, but I bet everyone understands how that works. You see? Absolutely nothing new! And apart nothing new, all this movement is like the 9 dots animation. A violent motion for our eyes that we can't really see what's happening. And Shell's poor paging makes it even worse, because icons change positions even between different pages. It is like a visual glitch more likely, Especially if we are on 27 inches monitors, and just few centimeters away from where all those are happening. But do people really care for all those? Let me share something from my work environment. For start, just because someone designs for Mercedes or Volvo, doesn't necessarily mean he is more talented from a Red Hat designer, or even a hobbyist. So, because I discuss GNOME design all the time, obviously. It makes me an impression that everyone is like, who cares? Leave me alone! And I get constantly this feeling that GNOME isn't bad, but it is not either good enough for people to say wow. And I'm talking about people that are world class designers and they pay attention like on everything, but not on the desktop they use 10 hours a day. Oh my god! Leaked! Lots of GNOME on Mercedes Studios! Anyway! This video is done! Just one last thing I haven't showed you so far! So, together with the major changes on the new theming, we also have a slight redesign of shell dialogues for more consistency. For instance, that's an authentication dialogue. And that's a new shutdown dialogue. Of course before final release everything may change. Up and just... Just in the sun